Hey everyone, Outer here with a World War III update. Let's go ahead and get into it here. Um, one of my subscribers reminded me of this, that this happened about a month ago, a little over a month ago. China accidentally sparks doomsday prepper frenzy after telling residents to stockpile food. Um, this is the New York Post. This is also on CNN and others. If you guys want to look it up, um, you can Google it or DuckDuckGo it if you'd like um, to be able to find this out. Um, here's a pile of people that lined up at a supermarket in Beijing. China's government accidentally sparked a doomsday prepper frenzy after advice to stockpile essentials led to fears of imminent war. Okay, now China is telling their people to begin to prepare. While we are sitting around with our thumb in the our you know where, um, talking about dumb crap. Okay, like. Our political propagandists are doing whatever they can to sidetrack us from the real threats here. And as you can see, some believe it meant an invasion of Taiwan was imminent following increasingly extreme threats from Beijing aimed at the United States. So, this is uh, interesting, and I totally forgot about this. I'm glad that uh, um, the subscriber brought it up. So I can get this information out to you. But I want to show you guys something else here as well. Um, this right here is, um, was released today. Okay, This is from the Daily Mail. It says, Putin drops first hint at potential war in Ukraine as he warns of taking military measures against the West in his propagandist, says Russia, and prepared to turn everyone into radioactive ash. I read an article the other day that I was going to show you that I was speaking to you guys about before um, where the foreign ministers in Russia were speaking about this and how they are ready to turn us into radioactive ash and are ready to take some radioactive ash to stop this. These people are insane. They're losing their freaking mind. Okay, and like I said before, those in whom are in the baby boomer generation and generation X and us millennials that are in the earlier stages of the millennial bra uh, bracket understand that Russia's always been a threat. They've been a threat for a long time since World War II, and they have just as many, actually more, nuclear weapons than we do. And our government wants to make you think that Russia is just this small little military that has no power. No. They are the close, the closest matched military to us in the world. And with them and China combined now, as Xi and Putin just got done having talks, this is going to get ugly very quickly. If you've been watching my other videos in the World War III updates, you guys know. And also the increasing UFO activity as... Certain weapons are being tested right now. UFO sightings always increase right before war because everyone's testing new products that nobody knows about. And when do they test them? At night, under the, cover, under the cover of darkness. Okay? So a lot of stuff's going on right now, but I want to get into this with you guys. Okay? Here's Ukraine. This is where Russia has positioned its troops. Do you see this? There's Belarus. Okay? But they also have troops up around Poland as well. This isn't just going to be a Ukrainian invasion, okay? This is going to be a European invasion. This is just the beginning. Right there it says, uh, Dim Dmitry Keslov, head of state, own Russia Today news service, issued chilling threats amid warnings that Putin is preparing to invade Ukraine. Moscow will hold a gun to America's head if Ukraine joins NATO, he said. Also warned of new Cuban Missile Crisis, which risks turning everyone to ash. Kremlin today said high-level talks have begun over its security demands. We all know that we're not going to back down. And they're not going to back down. Nobody's going to back down. This is different than the 2014 invasion of Crimea. Okay, And this is essential to, to Putin because if Ukraine joins NATO, it's going to block off a strategic port for them that is going to... <clears throat> Uh, cripple their economy. Russia needs that access, okay? But also what Russia needs is they need security on their border. Same thing as in Mexico and the United States, right? 
I mean, if we had Russian and Chinese troops in Mexico right now on our border, wouldn't we be freaking out? I mean, pretty much they're already down there in Venezuela. So this is kind of the same thing. You know, they are stuck in a position right now where they're going to have to respond. And unfortunately, the stupid freaking left and right paradigms of this nation in the political spectrum want to keep poking the Russian bear. Okay, they have a stick in their hand and they're poking the bear. And they keep pretty much pushing Russia into a corner and Russia's just going to... What does a bear do when you corner it? It's going to maul you to death, right? So this is what Russia's doing. I mean, look at this. Vladimir Putin has warned he is willing to take military measures in response to unfriendly Western actions in Ukraine and the clearest sign yet that the Russian strongman is gearing up for war. Putin speaking during a meeting at the Defense Ministry on Tuesday said Russia will react toughly to unfriendly steps and stressed that we have every right to do so. America has been warning for weeks that Putin appears to be ready in tens of thousands of troops, tanks, and artillery pieces to invade Ukraine, but Putin has insisted it is merely a defense force. Until now. See, I said this, folks, that this you don't amass that many troops and that much artillery and, and machinery, weapons of war, um, without some sort of a plan. It, it costs a lot of money and resources to um, feed the soldiers that are on the border. There's over 100,000 there now, okay? Almost 200,000, actually. I think the last time they checked, there was uh, um, 90-some thousand right at the border and another 100,000 that are mo were moving into place and should be there by the beginning of January. So this is... This is this is going to happen. I mean, look right there. Putin literally just, it says here, insisted it was merely a defense force until now. This is getting ready to pop off, folks. It says a media mongol, or mogul, sorry, known as Putin's mouthpiece yesterday threatened to put a gun to America's head if NATO forces are stationed in Ukraine, which they are. There's NATO forces there. Um, I have inside sources that have told me that NATO forces are there. This is the reason why Russia started making a move, because their high-level intelligence, um, their Spetsnaz, have relayed to the Russian government that they are now in talks, NATO and uh, Ukraine, in making Ukraine a NATO ally, and that this may happen soon, by the, by the early next year. So Russia began to put its pieces in play, because they were like, if this happens, prepare. We'll blow 32 of your satellites out of the sky. Remember, Russia just blew a satellite out of the sky on November 15th. And then threatened to blow 32 of our GPS satellites out of the sky, rendering our defense forces incompetent and weak. So, this is really beginning to uh, become quite scary to those of us who understand what a nuclear weapon can do. <clears throat> Russia has two doomsday submarines, okay? And these doomsday submarines are equipped with something what is called the Satan-2, all right? The Satan-2 is a missile that packs a 10 nuclear warhead uh, head on it. It's got a, nu a nuclear warhead that breaks off into 10 different warheads, and these 10 warheads blow up um, in the upper atmosphere, and when they go off, they can destroy the entire state of Texas, just one. They have 10 on each one of their subs, 10 carrying 10 heads, Okay. You know what the Bible says about ten heads? Ten crowns? Okay? So I'm telling you, this is serious stuff here. The flying scroll spoken of in the Bible as well. I believe it's in either Amos or Joel. You know, Minuteman missiles. Okay? In their head and in their tail they do harm, as it says in Revelation, right? You see, I don't think people understand what's coming the Bible clearly even states who the 200 million man army is. It, it pretty much names the colors of them. And um, if you know the color of China, fiery red and sulfur yellow, and if they're standing in the, uh, the guides of um, the United Nations, as we both or all know, that China and Russia are pretty much the heads of the UN now after Trump backed out, um, that would be fiery red, sulfur yellow, and hyacinth blue, the color of the flag of the UN coming in as peacekeepers yet they're not bringing peace <clears throat> this is <clears throat> world war three okay russian paratroopers take part in midair or midwinter training drill near moscow this week 
More than 300 Russian troops jumped from plane and training exercise. Putin said Russia would be within our rights to take military measures in Ukraine. All of this right here, you guys can look at. I'm going to leave the link at the bottom. This is about to get ugly, folks. And we've been talking about this coming for years now. And, um, yeah. I have a lot more information to come on this. I'm getting a lot of information from inside sources that are relaying information to me right now. I do know that there is troops in Ukraine right now. There is U.S. troops as well. There is U.S. artillery and tank brigades moving into Ukraine right now. Um, and NATO is there, and they're moving their pieces in play as well. This is about to get ugly. This is not just a game of, you know, um, sit and stare. This is a game of chess. All right? And each piece of the, uh, of, or each side of the chessboard right now is moving its pawns, moving its bishops, moving its knights and its rooks into place right now to prepare for a war, to start knocking pieces out and perform a checkmate. This has been brewing for a long time. And if you've been paying attention, you would know that this has been brewing for a long time. They have been testing weapons of war. They have been testing our air defense systems now for a little over a decade, flying uh, their bear bombers close to our radar systems. They have been um, flying very, very close to our ships and our planes and our drones. And they have been making these threats towards us and provoking us because we're close. So they have been testing our capabilities. They have been playing around with us for a while now, trying to um, uncover our weaknesses. China and Russia were also down in the Atlantic Ocean uh, back about six years ago, looking at the trans-international cable uh, system that goes underneath the ground there for communications between Europe and, and America. They cut those cables. They blow the GPS satellites out of the sky and communication satellites. Guess what? We have no comms, no communication at all. Our allies would be left in the dark without United States help, and we wouldn't be able to defend ourselves against the nuclear holocaust shot against us from Venezuela or Cuba from Russia. Or from its subs. We would be sitting ducks while everyone's running around talking about COVID and Donald Trump's taxes and how come Biden's walking past the helicopter and it has to go be helped and steered in the direction of the, the helicopter because our leader is incompetent and is going to get us all killed. As these fascists are vying for global power and will do anything they can to get it and they want this war because they want to depopulate. The Georgia Guidestones clearly say it. So folks, I've got a lot more information coming and hopefully I can get it out in time and hopefully we can get this information out. I pray over this video and over the ones to come that you all get this information to as many people as you possibly can. Share it. Live stream it. Do whatever you have to do. Do your own live stream, your own videos. We've got to get this message out to the people. Even if they won't hear, at least they were warned. As it also says in the Bible, you know, Jeremiah was the weeping prophet. You know, everybody made fun of him. They scoffed at him. And Jeremiah didn't want to speak of it anymore because it was very upsetting to him that he knew what was coming, but yet people didn't hear. They were, their ears were, were deafened and their eyes were blinded. Their hearts were hardened. Because unfortunately, we live in a sound of silence right now. People are comfortable in that silence. They don't want to know the truth. So they live inside of this fantasy bubble that has been propagated to them through the entertainment industry and by politicians for years. And somehow, some way, we got to break through that comfort bubble and just pray to God that people wake up and see this before it's too late and prepare. China's getting its citizens ready. Russia's getting its citizens ready. What are we doing? Again, folks, I just wanted to give you guys that update. I'll have more to come. As always, I love you all. God bless you. God bless the United States of America and our allies. May peace be with us and God's mercy. 
in these times of trouble to come. In Jesus' name, I pray these things, hoping that God's love and light will shine through this and that cooler heads will prevail. Keep your head up, stay strong, and may God bless you all.